all right guys so this is what i'll be covering with the noiko red channel hope you guys are still practicing social distancing keeping yourself safe and keeping your family safe in today's video we're going to be installing really cold red i'm going to be doing this to the trunk lid of my car and the in the headliner of my car i'm adding this because i want to cut down on the heat that comes in the car when a car is sitting outside in the sun or i'm prepping for car show days as well when it's sitting out in the sun it's just beating on the on the inside of the car and when you get in the car, you gotta let down all the windows and all that stuff. So I'm gonna be trying out Noiko Red 150 mil. They do make a 315 mil as well, but I already have the sound dead in the mat and the trunk lid of my car. If you know from my previous videos of doing the Noiko installs, I also have it in the ceiling of my car. So I'm gonna be putting this on both the trunk lid and the ceiling. You need to have the Noiko 80 mil already installed. This is an add-on to that to help with heat for the summertime and to help with the cold in the wintertime and vice versa. So in the heat, you got your car on, you got the AC running, you get out, it's supposed to help keep the cold temperature in as well as in the wintertime, it's supposed to help keep the warm temperature in. When you're in your car, you have your heater on, you get out, you go to the store, come back, so on and so forth. So without further ado, we're gonna start breaking down the trunk lid to install this, and then we're gonna move to the interior for the headliner. So here we go. Now for this portion of the install, you're gonna need a tool to take off the clips that are in the trunk lid, as well as a T20 bit for the handle right here. So you need a T20 bit, and you need a pry tool of some sort to get the clips off. So I'm gonna speed this part up and come back when we get ready to install the Noiko Red. All right guys, so now we have the liner off for the trunk lid. We're gonna now start measuring out the Noiko Red. So, It comes in a box like this. It already comes like pre-sectioned off and not like the Noiko 80 mil that comes in three folds. So pretty much something like this and then another one and you cut it to fit how you want it to fit. We're gonna do the same thing with this. The pieces you can pretty much set it up pretty quick and it'll be black. So they call it Noiko red because this has like a reddish color to it but this is gonna adhere to this so we're gonna go through spacing these out so when we get ready to do this part we're gonna make sure we make pilot holes because you you, you don't want to cover up you can cover up the holes, but you have to make sure you put a hole back. So this goes like this. There's a hole right here for the clip to hold the liner on. So you're going to make a hole where that is. So that way you still have all your pieces go back in the way they're supposed to. So we're going we're gonna to go a little bit further in the back with this one. I'll probably show it like that going across. I'm gonna start over here because there's nothing here. I'm gonna have to pull this off and make pilot holes here. So we'll do this part first. And these are like perfect sizes too, so. Thank you. 
All right. There's the hole. Same thing right here. Also, if you already installed Noiko before and you're just adding and you're just adding the Noiko red like I am, you can already have a roller so you can do this. If you just want to get more adhesion. If you don't have a roller, you can get one from Noiko on their website. I'll have that in the description below. All right, now I gotta make two more holes right here. Any excess that comes from underneath the liner, we can always cut with a razor blade, but be careful with that because you don't want to scratch your paint. It's going to overlap a little bit.
That's gonna bother me, so I'm gonna put a little bit to cover this. So this will be the first one we're gonna actually have to cut. Cuts pretty clean too, so you can really cut this to be exactly where you need to cover. pilot hole for the retainer clips for the liner it goes back here and so pretty much that's it all of this and there's still some more sheets inside too so that was the install of the Noiko Red. It's an addition to the Noiko 80 mil sound deadening mat. So I'm gonna do this and put this back up. I'm gonna speed this back up. Then we're gonna go to the headliner. And there it is. That's done. And now it's uh, insulated with the Noiko Red heat and cool insulation. So now we're gonna go to the cabin. All right guys, so I was gonna get a different angle. So this is, you can see it. So this is a T30 bit uh, star screw. You need a T20 for the trunk and you need a T30 for these handles and that's it. The screws up here are T20 as well for the headrest, or, not sorry, headrest, uh, for the visors window visors. I do, I just close them so they'll stay in there, they won't fall out. It's a little spring in there. So let's put this on the floor. In the, in the back, there is a light, as you know. You wanna make sure you unplug that when you pull this out, cause it's all connected. So just be cautious of that when you're pulling these out, if you're gonna remove your headliner. While I'm here, I might as well take out the window visor. Also, there are bolts right here. You see this little line, you just pull these back. You wanna get a pry tool. If you can't get your fingers, my fingers are a little, a little too fat, so you gotta get these off. And there's some screws in here on both sides. So here's the other one. So T20 bit. How I took mine out is I extend the window visor. I can easily get to the screws. I'm putting everything right next to the shifter in case you're wondering where you would put your loose parts. All right, so the thing about the visor, they don't come completely out. They're just gonna hang. 
because of the there's a wire inside because of the power to the light. It'll change in a minute. Just showing you and all these need to be taken out. Now we're gonna take out this handle. Let me just speed this up for you guys. All right guys, so now we're done with that. Moving all of the handles. The ones in the back, like I said, they have a fuse or a, a power cord to them. So you have to use like a small screwdriver to pull back the retainer clip to relieve the power input to the reading light. It's on both sides. Now that we've done all that, we take out the seal. So we gotta pull back a little bit. You can either pull it away or pull the headliner down. Be careful of the airbags. This is an airbag right here. Oh, I forgot about these. So, these have to come out too. A little clip on the back. And you take those out. You can also T20s, meaning you need a T20 bit. So now that those are off. will slowly start to this some really good uh, velcro that holds this up actually when you put it in place So you just gotta pull a little bit of, a little bit of the door seal away and you get in there. Right there. I forgot there's one more screw right here. 
in the center under the headlamp there's one small screw there's also a t20 All right guys, so now the headliner is lowered. All right, so. Now she's free. So let me show you guys how I have the sound deadening mat up here as well. As you can see, I put it everywhere I possibly could. I even have it on the sunroof. This slides back. I've been told you can fold this to get it out, but I don't want to fold it to get it out of the car. <clears throat> so it's probably going to stay. I'm just going to recline the seat some more and lower them so I can get more working space. Now you guys always heard about the seats going all the way back. I think this is probably why they go all the way back. All right, guys. So this is what I'll be covering with the Noiko Red. Being that I'm just doing this, I'm not taking the entire line, headliner out. This wire right here that is, it goes all the way across. It's the power. It powers the lights in the front and the rear. So the lights and the, the vanity lights and this and all that stuff, it's all powered to this, which goes down here. But I don't feel like ripping this off of the headliner. So, I'm going to change the angle of the camera for you guys. Alright guys, so this is going to be the new angle. While I apply the Noiko sound in the mat red, Noiko red, to the uh, ceiling of the charger.
getting a little cut. And then just put it back. Here's another piece going to come out. Got a little slight cut. Jigsaw's a little bit. Make sure the sun still slides, and it does. All right, we're done with the back. Now. All right, guys. So now we're gonna do this part. This part right here. It's very easily exposed. It's not as hard at all. We'll probably have to cut this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut it a little bit. That's fine though. repurpose the other part of this that I cut for the other side.
like I said, be careful when you're using the razor to not cut the wires. Just be mindful that certain parts of the car have electrical stuff up here. So some of it may be very important. Matter of fact, it's all important. So don't cut any wires. All right, so that didn't go as planned at all. But we will see how that works out. Let me try the other side now. I'm gonna go in from this, this way to get the back part. So I got it pulled halfway. Wow, this is tougher than I thought it would be. Got it to work, people. Just gotta trim this excess. I think we're done. All right, let's start putting this back together. for this Noiko install. If you enjoyed this install, you can check out my sound deck in the playlist for more installs on my Dodge Charger. I also like to thank Noiko for posting one of my videos on their YouTube channel. You can also go check out their YouTube channel for even more Noiko installs. Everything I use in this video will be in the links in the description below. You guys take care, stay safe out there, continue practicing social distancing, and we'll see you next time. Later. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, here's some more videos you can check out. Before you do that though, hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so this way you're notified when we post out awesome new content.
Go Jags!